audio jungle. Audio jungle. This gun is literally amazing in any PvP playlist, and for some reason more than 99.9% .9 of the Destiny 2 community is not using it. The Aegir Scepter synergizes amazingly well with Void, Solar and Stasis Titans, but is great on actually any class. Personally I love to combine it with the Lorelei Splendor Exotic Helmet, even though it has been nerfed just recently, or with the Icefall Mantle Exotic Arms, which is in my opinion definitely a sleeper exotic as well. The base stats of the Aegir Scepter are already great, with a normal TTK of 0.67 seconds, and with the Catalyst buff, it jumps to an insane 0.36 seconds. And to make it even better you can buff this with a 20% damage boost from either Sun Warrior or Charged with Light which lowers the base TTK to 0.536 seconds and the TTK with the catalyst buff to 0.288 seconds. If you didn't hear what I said, a TTK of 0.288 seconds. Now, I didn't even mention the other amazing traits like for instance the 100 aim assist and the stasis abilities. But since the gun's been out for a while, most of you will already know this, but have since then decided the gun is only useful in PvE maybe even based on the opinion of the average redditor or youtube hater don't listen to them anymore because besides it being really good it's also tons of fun besides the obvious mods like scavenger targeting and unflinching i would recommend running the following charge with light mods i realize that even with all of this it won't beat the sweats using the meta and i also realize that it takes up a special ammo slot so go try this loadout and if you still think it's bad then tell you got it! But it's not. I've used it successfully in Trials of Osiris, Iron Banner, Comp, and Control. And since the Witch Queen release with Void 3.0 it's still good. So let me know what you think or if you have any questions. P.S. Really excited for the new Witch Queen raid, The Vow of the Disciple. Enjoy a few more moments of crucible gameplay. Fucking Lawrence Driver. <laughs>